I'm very happy with Palm Beach State College because the professors have been very helpful and very supportive. They're very knowledgeable and the school has everything you need to succeed. I've had incredible professors the entire time that I've been at Palm Beach State College, regardless of the course. My psychology teacher to my physics professor have all been extremely instrumental and supportive throughout my entire journey. As soon as I graduated from high school, I went to Palm Beach State College, and here I found that the environmental science technology program was the best fit for me because of my interest in environmental protection. I was 30 years old. I had a five-year-old that was just entering kindergarten, and that's when I decided that I needed something more meaningful than just the waitressing, bartending. So uh, I decided to come to the college and I met with Professor Andrick, and I was going to get a certificate program. And he encouraged me that I should want more for myself than that, and that anything was possible if I put my mind to it. And so I enrolled in the Electrical Power Technology Program. Uh, I wanted to have a career in the energy sector, uh, specifically renewable energies, alternative energies. Uh, I wanted to contribute positively and know that I'm leaving a better world for my child. For part of my internship, I worked on a project at Jonathan Dickinson State Park with Professor Miles, which involved measuring the park's habitat to determine if an endangered bird called the red cockaded woodpecker could be introduced. Historically, the bird lived in the park, but as urbanization took place, it was pushed from its natural habitat. Looking at the numbers, seeing, oh my goodness, this is showing that there's an opportunity for us to actually see a site meet the requirements for this red cockaded woodpecker to be returned. This really made me overjoyed, and I know it made Katie overjoyed as well. I'm very proud to say that we were able to publish my paper in the scientific journal called Florida Field Naturalist. Within just a couple months of starting the program, Professor Andrick approached me about employment opportunity that was available through Florida Power and Light, who has a business partnership with Palm Beach State College. We have a very strong relationship with multiple companies and multiple local businesses and industries where we can offer them internships and entry-level jobs where they can now tie what they learn in the classroom here and also apply it directly to some entry-level jobs. And it also boosts their learning, it gives them motivation, and they can see the results immediately. One of our crown jewels here at the campus and at the college is our uh, bioscience and uh, technology complex. It's a 91,000 square foot state-of-the-art complex that highlights uh, equipment, capital equipment, and instrumentation that students would see in the workplace today. And in some instances, uh, the equipment is actually even superior to what some of these industries are currently housing. So students get, uh, obviously, academic didactic lecture, they get hands-on laboratories, and then the rubber meets the road when they get to the internship sites and are able to show and demonstrate those skill sets. STEAM careers uh, drive our nation's global competitiveness uh, from innovation of new technologies to new industries to research and development. STEAM uh, careers actually pay 26 percent higher than the non-STEAM uh, counterparts. Um, they are projected to grow uh, three times more than the non-STEAM careers. In the world of STEM and STEAM, a great deal of this is learning how to apply yourself. It means making things. And so when, when you begin to study STEM and STEAM skills and science and math, you not only will learn the book part of it, but you're going to learn how it actually applies. And when you do that, that's going to inspire you. Don't be afraid of science. Don't be afraid of math. Learn by doing. And this, it'll all make sense to you. As a kid, I watched National Geographic and was always concerned about endangered animals and their welfare. So now, by choosing a STEAM career, I'm able to make my dreams come true. I'll be graduating this May uh, with my associates in electrical power technology. 
bottom line is if you work hard enough at it and you, you really set your goals that the sky is the limit. You can do whatever you, you intend to do.